what's up guys listen bringing you a new update on what's going on with jamie fox and it pains me to say it and i know i've been reading the conspiracy theories and what is going on with jamie fox there has been all this stuff that happened with jamie fox and all his friends including his best friend praying that he makes it saying it's in god's hands begging and pleading okay we have not heard, not hide, hair, or whistle from him, seen or heard. Um, all his products are being, uh, you know, all his things are being reassigned. Nick Cannon was a weirdo and acts out the blue that he was going to be taking on Shazam. That's a show with his daughter and all this stuff. And it reached ahead because everybody started posting, yo, something's wrong with Jamie, something's wrong with Jamie. The only thing is there's now people are saying that Jamie Foxx has sent a message to his fans. And listen, I'm praying for Jamie just like everyone else. So I ran over there to be like, oh, my God, like, what did Jamie say? Y'all, what is going on? They literally told us, right, that Jamie Foxx sent a message to his fans on his Instagram page. There's no video. There's no audio. It's literally instagram stories okay and the instagram story says this let me just show y'all really quick he said appreciate all the love feel blessed okay and then when you go into um jamie fox's story so he posted on his main feed um appreciate all the love feel blessed okay Jamie, you have literally gotten the world in a scuffle. This is what y'all trying to convince us that Jamie's okay, posting something to his Instagram stories. All right. And then they posted, appreciate you, my boy, Nick Cannon. See you all soon. Jay, this doesn't even sound believable to you. This is what makes me think there's actually really something wrong. And listen, let's keep Jamie in our prayers, but let's be real, right? He, po he posted Beats Shazam. Corinne Fox actually, that's his daughter, actually posted this too. I'm actually thinking Corinne's the one that asked Jamie to pick over. Or maybe it was a network decision because you know Nick Candy. He's good for three things. Making a corny joke, making too many babies, and making a hit show. I mean, let's be real. I think that's why, right? Beats um, at Shazam has been an unscripted mainstream of Fox schedule for six seasons and counting. Let's see what Nick Cannon does. Um, it says the season not wanting fans of the show to miss a minute of the fun. Nick Cannon has offered to fill in as guest host for his friends Jamie Foxx uh, and Kareem Fox. Kelly Osbourne will be filling in as a guest DJ. Everyone at Fox Entertainment wishes Jamie well as he continues his recovery. And we greatly appreciate Nick's willingness to jump in and help this summer. Thank you so much, Nick Cannon and Kelly Osborne, for filling in the season. We're proud of season six. Okay, first of all, this is just a network making Jamie's family post this 100%. You cannot tell me that somebody that has been in the hospital for going on two weeks Someone that literally was saying people were trying to delete him. Someone that had to have police come to the or hospital room because he thought his life was in danger. Someone that thought all this stuff was going on. There is no way in high heaven. And you've been in the hospital for over two weeks. Your friends are posting messages to pray for you. That you have taken a turn for the worse. And the first time you show up to let us know anything, is to talk about some season six of Shabam Beats. Does that even make sense? I mean, it makes sense if you think that the network is just trying to dole out his work and the network hurt people talking trash about how is it that Jamie's in the hospital, everybody's praying for him, and Nick Cannon's out there saying, yeah, I went to go see my brother and I love him so much. Oh yeah, by the way, he asked me a favor and I'm picking up for him. When we were like, how did Jamie ask you a favor if he like hasn't even been really conscious and if he is he is non-responsive like he can't really communicate everybody's saying he listen not even that he has a long road but that he is hanging on by a thread now right nothing's been confirmed but people don't stay in the hospital for this long especially when you got money doctors access whatnot people do not stay in the hospital that long i mean correct me if i'm wrong 
respectfully, I, y'all be getting crazy in the comments. Please challenge the message, not the person saying it. Listen, all jokes aside, right? Respectfully, tell me how that works. Y'all, listen, I've been ignoring the conspiracy theories because yo, know, some of y'all are wilding. However, I think we can all agree something is going on here and they're trying to cover it up. And the more they're trying to cover it up, the worse it looks. Now, I think it's something as simple as, again, how I said they said that it was a complication. We know complications can be pre-existing, right? We know crop complications are for a pre-existing um, uh, uh, medical condition. A lot of people in the comments, thank you so much. I read all the comments, y'all. Uh, a lot of people in the comments were saying that um, an aneurysm, you can be born with one, and it can be a pre-existing condition. And if they catch it quick enough, yeah, you might have a little therapy and a little time, but you will be restored, okay? Um, who knows if they caught Jamie's quick enough, but since if it was that and pre-existing, I'm sure when he came into the doctors, everybody knew what was going on. But you guys, again, I'm praying for Jamie. And I hope this isn't just a sick thing the studio and the networks do, because at the end of the day, all they do is care about money. All they care is about that show getting on. Let's also not forget to add fuel to the fire. There's a writer's strike that's just happening. There's a writer's strike. And let's also not forget with that writer's strike, right? Let's also not forget that with that writer's strike, scripted shows, right now they have a little saved up, but unscripted television is going to be where it's at because scripted shows, even late night talk shows are going to have to go down. The network is seeing this as a big money boom. It is immune to the writer's strikes. It looks like it's going to carry on for a while. It is unscripted. So you don't become a scab where if you cross the picket lines in any writer, SAG, whatever, you um, can never sign up to join those unions ever. So the networks need the money. They need unscripted shows. Jamie Foxx unscripted show did really, really well. They're not willing to let that go. Is the network cold-blooded and deceitful and greedy enough to literally make Jamie's family post something like this to make sure that the show goes on? I don't know. Maybe this is serious. Maybe this is sincere. But I really have to ask you guys. I mean, think about it. Jamie Foxx, who is still in the hospital, who had to leave his first directorial debut that we have not heard hi nor hear from, and all his friends are praying and pleading to God, saying that he took a turn for the worse, and he's on his deathbed, sorry, and he's on his deathbed, okay? Jamie Foxx decided to say to his fans to post, thank y'all, appreciate y'all and then promote a new show so people don't get mad at Nick Cannon, the weirdo at taking over. Listen, I'm not faulting Nick Cannon because somebody would have had to take over, right? Him and Jamie are friends. I think it's odd the way he announced it. I would think it's weird the way he used a visit to the hospital room. And I think this whole thing's odd, but I want to know what y'all think. Again, I've never been one for conspiracies, but yeah. What the network just pulled, which I, again, this is my opinion. Yeah, something's off. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm going to be following this, but I'm actually a little bit annoyed that they would even talk, not Jamie's family, all respected them, but that the network would make them do something like this. Y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Praying for Jamie, prayers up. No matter what happens, I hope he pulls through um, and goes back to the people that really love him and don't just see him as like a moneymaker. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. I will talk to you later. Bye.